Hi there, welcome back to Tyranny. It's Judgment Day and we are the law. Let's enter the old walls here around the strange spire in the stone sea. We have uh, seen to it that we enter this, but we haven't really found out a way. Let's see what we can find out here. A charcoal rubbing. Pressing charcoal to parchment, you capture a blurry but proportionate image of the ancient relief. Though the drawn room remains incomplete, it seems likely that the completed design is symmetrical in nature. Should the need arise, you could reasonably guess its original shape. I believe this has something to do with a symbol on the floor of the spire. And what's here? Brilliant flames cast an emerald light on the walls. How they got that color and why they don't burn is a mystery. Let's have a look at the at the rubbing. The dawning spire. So it should be symmetrical in nature. I mean, the thing is, we could try start kill Cairn, but I really want to activate that spire first, so... It's like a yin and a yang, right? And it's symmetrical in nature. Eh, okay. Any bets on which sigil unleashes more scourges? So we have that. Something has glowed. So we have that thing going and now um, we really should go this. Part. Uh. Uh, can that be true? No, that isn't. Let's remove that. We want to remove that thing. Can't we remove it? Come on. Oh, what the hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that was wrong, right? It enters here. And now, we have that, and that, and that, and that, that's the first thing, then we need this part to its full end, like here. And this one, and I believe we need this one, then we need to enter it here. So what would mean symmetrical? There's something painted here, so it needs to go forward to this place somehow. And then it is continued here and it should be symmetrical, so... How to symmetricalize that now? <laughs> that is the question. 
that kind of fish, maybe we'll have that kind of fish here too. Hmm. I mean, it would be probably be good connect these parts and these parts, but of course I don't think that one is is going to matter, so... And then we could go for that circle here again. And make it fully symmetrical here and here. Woo, that worked. Yeah. <laughs> we have it going. Let's enter the spire. The spire of the stone sea. It's ours. And we can see, down there, the landscape. What do you have to say, guys? I think it's pretty great. Unlocked another spire. Should help the might of Kairos to be able to... Yeah. Watch over the land from these high places and travel far and travel fast. The now familiar light of the spire causes skyward, trailing off toward the horizon, in the direction of Wendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away, as given to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. The dawning spire in Howling Rock gives you the impression of slow, inexorable movement. Like a glacier of living stone, unstoppable force moves at a pace that no eye could follow. The tower's very immobility is a pretense. With a triumphant heave, you feel the will of the spire stretch across the distance to link its power with Wendrian's well. Amazing, Lantry says. You can see out east from here across the continent. If we had a long-distance peering device, I wonder if we'd see Kairos' next wave of invaders starting their journey here. It's maybe for the better that I can't confirm this suspicion. Another spire added to your collection, which begs the question of how many strongholds one Fatebinder needs. I'll leave you to answer the hard questions. Barik says. I am used to this rush because I don't know if I ever will be. We all feel it, right? Rose says. Our power has increased. We can upgrade something. Let's do that. Could also hire someone. Upgrading is, is really cool, right? Uh, maybe a library or maybe training grounds. Allows you to recruit the finest skill trainers in the tiers. Once built, resting in any spire grants a bonus to accuracy, athletics, and subterfuge. Oh yeah. That seems great. Accuracy is always good when you're fighting. So what? So what? I mean, I always think the, the birds in this picture make some kind of pattern. Like, similar to that of the spire, maybe. Oh, look at that! That's the training. <laughs> Who are you? Hey, there's Eb. Nice, nice, nice. Trainer Riz. Hey there, trainer. Fatebinder's here. Man, before you offers a nod at your approach, he meets your eyes hesitatingly and pauses before speaking. Thank you for having me, Fatebinder. The name's Riz. I'm here because I'm good at just two things, killing my foes and seeing where the currents flow. 
I'd rather not get caught on the wrong side of history, so I'm here to humbly offer my sword. I'm well versed in many forms of combat and can help you stay versatile during a fight should you wish it. Uh, why did you choose to follow me now? These spires have towered over us for generations. Whoever made them was far beyond us, mere peasants on the ground. They were objects of wonder and legend in Tearsman's stories, and now that you've claimed them, looks directly at you, conviction in his eyes, that's reason enough for me. What can I do here? If you want to hone your fighting skills, or perhaps learn some new ones, this is a place, but really, this spire is your domain, what you do and who you invite to aid you is your choice. Alright, I'd like to train with you. Let's see, we can train law with you. <laughs> That's the only thing. Alright. What could Barik learn? Some athletics. That would be helpful, I guess. And hey, Verse. Verse has much to learn. Can learn some parry, some dodge. Dodge seems good, and some parry. And Lantry. Lantry can... Oh, dodge is good. Give him the dodge. Maybe athletics? I don't know. I don't think he needs athletics. I don't... Same kind. We don't need lore. Hey! <laughs> we've had a level up on Lantry. Nice going. Let's see what we can do with him. Yeah, I think that's the straightforward thing, right? More resolve. Because it goes to his magic skills. Let's go for that. And maybe more preservation. What's that? Gifted Wigger. Yeah, why not? Gifted Wigger seems pretty good. Let's go for that. Voice of Ages. Yes, <laughs> we have that now. But let's go for Gifted Wigger. We still level up something on Lantry? No, come on. Yeah, we cannot. It's all good. We're very gifted. Hmm. Nice. Look at that. There's so much we can find here. There's kills in Shadow. Also training with the others. Got a bronze hammer. We've got Warren's short bow. Oh, that's a level up bonus. Yeah, it will be lost before we meet anyone. Bronze spare and a sigil of piercing force. And an iron axe. So it's very helpful to have this early on. Right? If you find these weapons there always, then that's something crazy. Immense crystals envelope what reminds remains of the land in all directions. And a small collection of structures rest precariously on a sheer cliff. Let's go down here now. And do what Ash wanted us to do. Howling Rock we go. Also, what do you think is Kairos really evil? Kairos doesn't really feel evil. He just wants to, or it, or she, I think it was a she, she wants to uh, just control the land. And now we are here again. On it. Ah. Can't we get down here? No? Alright. <laughs> we should have gone down to the runic hall, right? Then we would we could have gone back. But not like this, not like this. We have to climb down again. 
Hmm. Yeah, I believe um, we should go for the matter of uh, destroying Cairn only in the next episode. But I want to find out more because there's something here. Extract the crystal. Yeah, I know we we are definitely jumping around it, right? Uh, it's such a big decision, though. Would it destroy our spire? There's so many open questions here. So we have made the spire build up. I've learned so much. Let's see what we can do in the next episode when we finish that Archon. Let's have a look at this guy. Is this tears? Is this his tears? Oh, wow. Is this his heart still pounding? Your justice will come, Archon. Because we are the seed of justice. Happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode. This is Emmanuel Ken signing out. <laughs>